this probe escort procedure with you. Thank you, Doctor. Don't go! This is the result of the autopsy I carried out on the alien's body. The one we found after the moon base attack? It could shatter all our past theories. Go on. And this is mostly conjecture. The head was badly damaged. I, uh, I may be completely wrong. Until more proofs are there. Oh, cut the caution, Doctor. We're not likely to quote you. All right, I'm sorry. As you're well aware, up until now we've all believed they were humanoid. A dying race, keeping themselves alive by transplanting our organs into their bodies. The alien I examined this morning, I think his whole body was human. His brain, even his brain... You mean he was one of us? Outwardly, yes. But if his brain... His brain may have been human. But it doesn't mean his mind was. But mind, brain, they're the same. No, 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 no. Let me try to explain. Oh, there was so much damage, it was almost impossible to tell. But, but certain sections of the brain seemed to be missing. The parts that control emotion, creativity... Only the analytical, the logical remained. It's possible that these creatures are not humanoid at all. They just use our bodies, erase from the brain all knowledge, wipe it clean and reprogram it with or transmit to it their own thought patterns, their own intelligence. But why? <laughs> that I don't know. It could be... They aren't capable of traveling in space. The form of life they take, I, I can't begin to imagine. They may have no physical being at all, and therefore need a vehicle, a container, our bodies. And so with spare part surgery they're able to keep these uh, human computers alive and free from senility during their years in space exactly well, that's uh, unbelievable so are ufos yes as fantastic as it sounds they could be living computers